Residents at a care home in the UK are enjoying their new found fame after a project where they recreated some famous album covers. It went viral and has caught the attention of some of the celebrities involved. I recently had the chance to chat with the man behind the idea, Activities Coordinator Robert Speaker. This is no ordinary care home. You've now become a viral sensation. How are you doing right now? How are you dealing with this moment? I'm so amazed by the response. Walk me through the process of choosing the album covers. Features like the Adal cover, that was almost yeah. spot on. It was more to find somebody with the same kind of personality and character that could match up well to the famous artists. I selected the albums that were um, commonly known. If you saw the Michael Jackson band, for example, most people know that album cover, along with a number of the others. And it gave me the opportunity to spend um, some quality time with them. So whilst we were photographing or getting it all ready and I was painting somebody's arm or face, it was a good opportunity for us to talk, just to say, you know, how are you doing? Have you got any worries? You did, I mean, some classic covers. Taylor Swift was one of my favorites. Have you heard yeah. from any of the artists? Well, I'm still waiting for Taylor Swift. I, and people keep saying, well, what is she doing at the moment? Surely she's not that busy. So Surely! If, I'm sure Taylor's watching this right now. Taylor, we're waiting for you. We've got Rini here. She's waiting to see what you think of this. I love it. But. The, um, somebody told me the lead singer of Blink-182 retweeted it, so he has definitely seen it. I also have to say the Clash cover, I love. That is one of my favorite poses as well. Send my love to that resident. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Sheila. She's not your classic 93-year-old. Paint me the picture, Robert, of what the moment looks like when you're actually shooting the cover. Are you playing any of the songs from the albums? It's not many care homes where they have Taylor Swift playing, as, and probably not many that have Blink-182 playing, but this is no ordinary care home. It was just a case of, can you just move your right hand just slightly, slightly, no, not that far, yeah, just back, and they were then, what do you want of me? And then they would lose the whole pose and we'd have to start again. And to be able to show them the final piece and see their faces and their reaction and, and their hy hysterical laughter at seeing themselves and their fellow residents in these different poses. I love that. This is no ordinary care home. I saw you respond to a tweet the other day. Somebody suggested a calendar. Yeah, a lot of people have suggested a calendar. So. I fear there is demand for a calendar and we hope to put one together uh, very soon. I would be first in line for a calendar, okay? Okay, now, okay, your name is down, the order put is down. in. Put me down for a calendar. <laughs> okay. What has been something that you feel like is the greatest lesson you've learned during this time? They have lived full lives. They've lived through world wars. They have heard all of those artists not many people can say they have heard Elvis. They have lived through all of that. They're matriarchs of their families, and we need to take care of the elderly and show them the respect that they deserve.